Last few weeks, the defense really hasn't been up to your guys' usual standards. Um, was tonight just a continuation of, of those some of those issues you guys have faced lately, or, or what, was it different? Nah. Uh, in the second half, I just felt like they just made shots. Uh, you know, I feel like certain guys was getting to their spots, and they was making shots. But it, it seems to be a trend also. Teams making shots or not making shots. The defense, probably since the All-Star break, has not been nearly the same it was before that. Uh, Kyle's thought was less zone defense. Teams got used to that. You had a trend in a different direction. What's your thoughts on where has this defense gone sideways? Uh, I say the lack of the communication when uh, we get fatigued. I feel like that's the... Uh, that's a big momentum shift. You know, when guys get fatigued, we stop talking, and uh, it hurts us because we expect guys to be in certain places and they're not. Um, you know, I just feel like we have mental lapses when we get fatigued. Yeah, it's it just especially frustrating because before the break, it was the offense that you guys are trying to, to solve, and now the offense is playing better, but the defense hasn't been where it was before. I mean, is that frustrating that you just haven't been able to put both sides of the ball together yet this season? Yeah. Uh it is, but, you know, we we going to keep fighting. <laughs> you know, it's always another game uh, to be played. You know, we got another game, what, Tuesday? So, I mean, you can't, <clears throat> we can't really harp on this loss, even though it's, it's, it's one of those bad ones. But, you know, we got to take it game by game. With everything that's at stake, though, you know, you guys know important games, and you've really stepped, heck, Wednesday against the Knicks, you stepped up in a really important game. With everything that was at stake tonight, the chance to get out of the play and move a little secure position, how either disappointing or surprising was the way it played out? Uh, I'd say disappointing uh, for all of us just because, you know, we came out in the first half, you know, electrifying, you know, doing the things we need to do when they adjust it. And, uh, you know, we got into scramble mode. <clears throat> but, you know, it's, it's one of those losses where you know it it, it, it costs you something. Uh, but we still got games left to play. And just um, what Max did in the first half. You talk about a guy providing a spark. Is it to, to, to lose that, you know, to get a 23 points from Max Struess in the first half and not be able to use it in a win, how disappointing is it for the team and just for all that Max gave you early? I mean, it's disappointing for all of us, uh, not just Max. You know, it's, it's disappointing for all of us. You know, he has a game like that and we don't win. Uh, <clears throat> it's one of those we, we got to look at the film uh, and really understand you know, we can't let these type of games slip away. All right. Thank you, man. Black Lives Matter, people.